What's going on guys? So as you can hear the Fiesta's on right now. You wanna know why? It was dead. Dead ass battery. So I think it was because of the access port. Um, usually I had it in the you know auto on off battery saver thing but uh, I don't know. I feel like it was draining the battery because this is a maybe close to a year old battery and I know it's not the alternator because it's, it's running right now. So um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I am finally getting to the camber, putting the tires on, uh, you know, fitting it up. I'll, uh, I'm gonna be putting Loctite on uh, the sway bar bolts, or the sway bar bracket bolts, uh, to make sure they're completely secure now, so they don't unthread themselves, like that one in the left ha has been, so stupid. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Camber bolts, uh, get a little bit more camber, uh, put the tires on, check them out. Uh, maybe heat cycle them as much as I can. I mean, I know that it's not a true heat cycle, but warming them up on the street, you know, taking a few sharp little turns with it, it'll get them a little bit hot. And then, you know, jack it up, take the wheels off, or take the tires off, put the, the, daily, the dailies on, and let the uh, track tires sit for a little bit too. And halfway properly, uh, like street proper uh, heat cycle them in. After the car, you know, has a little bit of time to charge the battery again um i'll get to that so see you guys in a minute all right so the car's been sitting for a little bit charge the battery should be good um no i had an access port unplugged as well just to be safe good to go there um now i'm gonna get the car lifted um take the wheels off and or at least the front wheels and then get to work so i'll show you guys what i do for putting camber adjustable bolts on when you have the little slot for a coil over so i'll get to that in a minute so before I start um, lifting it up and all that, I already broke the uh, torque on the lug nuts. I'm going to show you guys what uh, the camber looks like right now. So here's the camber currently, which is, you know, it's pretty good, but it can be significantly more. Um, this right here is with the coil over or the, uh, the upper strut mount bolt pushed into the little uh, the slot that the coil over has to give it a little bit extra camber. Um, but I want a little bit more because that um, is what I was running with the SD suspension. So, yeah, we'll see how it looks later. Okay, so have the wheel off. Um, and I figured out that it wasn't the sway bar bracket uh, bolts. It ended up being the nut right here at the lower uh, end link. So typically I've seen these, um, the adjustable end link nuts um, come, or thread off if you don't tighten them uh, enough but this one I guess I'll send it too hard um, started uh, loosening up a little bit not a, not a lot but enough to be able to move it in and out so got that figured out all right so we're gonna be removing this one right here because as you can see uh, I mean yeah, it's kind of you can barely see it but there uh, when I was installing these there's a little slot um, in the uh, mountain part of the lower strut or the coil over and right here has a little bit of a like a slot so you can either bring it closer to you uh, for you know positive camber and then push it away until it stops for a little bit more negative camber but we're gonna add more so here we go All right, so when you're putting these on, um, wherever you put it in, either that way, or that way, it doesn't really matter. Um, you want this tab to be sticking, well, I guess to the rear of the car or to the front, whatever, outside. And then this little um, point right here, this little tab, will go inside uh, the hole right here. So if you want negative camber, then you're gonna have this going to the inside. If you want positive camber, uh, outside. So, and you're gonna want to loosen these up just a little bit and I'm gonna get the jack and kind of pry this up to give it some leverage. So I'll bear it back.
Okay, so I think I might have done it wrong as far as I think I might have angled the uh, the tab wrong because I think everything's opposite from if you if you're using the lower mount then it's going to be completely opposite from the top. So I think the tab has to go out towards the outside of the car by the inside to get negative. So I'm going to try that on this side and we'll see if this works better. All right, so I did figure it out. It, I was doing it wrong on the other side. So let's see this one's over here. So you want the tab, if you're doing the lower ones, you want the tab facing outwards. If you're doing the tops, you want the tab facing inwards. This is for negative camera. If you want positive camber, it's the opposite. But why would you want an excessive amount of positive camber? So if you're doing the top bolt, negative, it's gonna be facing inwards. Lower bolt, the tab is gonna be facing outwards. And then it's the same process. You just uh, move it until you get your camber. And this is going to tow in. Um, so just like if you are uh, doing the top one, uh, any amount of cam like negative camber is going to tow this in. So when you start seeing that, you're good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna torque down this side and then redo the other one and we should be go, good to go from there. So got the car down and man, this is the camber that I was that I had when I had the SD coilovers on and this is definitely the camber that I want. Um, I am gonna do uh, an alignment a little bit later, but this is how it looks. Damn. I mean, obviously it's towed in, but significantly more camber. So yeah. All right, now I'm gonna put the race tires on and do the alignment. Probably just kind of drive on them. I don't even know if I'm gonna do a true heat cycle. I might, you know, do a burnout or something like that, just get them warm. And then whenever I get back home, just swap out those for the dailies. And yeah, so that's the plan right now. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the race tires on. All right, so I got done with one side and I just wanna show it off. Uh, sorry about the light. Compared to um, the other side. So there's the nice one, and there's the not so nice. All right, so we're done. We've got both sides. As you can see, it's a little bit dark, but man, I am so digging this. I'm gonna be posting it on Snapchat. There you go, Snapchat, not Instagram. God, can't wait. I'm gonna be so much quicker in the corners, especially with the reverse stagger. That small tire in the back. Bigger tire in the front, bigger track within the front. It's just gonna help so much. From what I read up on, um, in theory, it should help a lot. Plus the extra camber. Man, I probably could have made up at least a second, maybe a second and a half at least last weekend. So let's see what I do this weekend. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm already done with the alignment. It's just like a you know little eye alignment. Um, I'll figure I'll probably dial it in a little bit more Friday uh, yeah probably Friday night uh, just fine-tune the uh, the uh, the toe sorry um, and then yeah uh, the autocross vlog for this weekend will start on Saturday eh, probably Friday night because I just want to I'm gonna be heading to Patterson to stay the night so anyways guys if you enjoyed the video feel free to like it leave your comments in the comment section down below subscribe if you're not subscribed yet so much good stuff coming up and ring the bell so you can be updated whenever that new stuff comes out and yeah so i can't wait for this weekend hope you guys are excited because it's going to be a good one so see you guys then have a good one